and going from zero to one. And I think it would get, get definitely easier and easier, probably up to a point, and then again get, get more difficult as we get to extremely small dimensions. It would take about a million pixels to create the images we want, and you can't do that by hand. So, Babak's gang dreamed up a shortcut. It's a technique called self-assembly. They make a liquid containing thousands of free-floating pixels. Then they sandwich a circuit board between two pieces of glass. When they pour the liquid into the sandwich, the pixels stick to the metal on the circuit board. With a breakthrough or two, a real bionic lens could be on the market. Then, you'll never be blown off by someone you're sure you know. You'll get instant info or quick reminders on everyone you meet. You'll never have to wonder who they are or what they're like. Imagine having the ability to zoom in on objects, take photographs, or record videos without an external device and literally in the blink of an eye. Imagine a lens that gives you better than 2020 vision well into your old age, or being able to get the news in front of you anywhere at any time. That is exactly what scientists are trying to achieve with smart contact lenses. Researchers from the University of California, San Diego developed robotic contact lenses that can zoom in up to 32%. All you need to do is blink twice with the contacts in your eyes. Incredibly, the lens doesn't require batteries because it uses the electricity produced by specific movements in the eye. To make these smart contact lenses, researchers use micro versions of existing technologies. These lenses are designed to harvest energy. They're exposed to the mechanical movement and kinetic energy of blinking, which is then converted into electrical power. Smart contact lens technology could accelerate vision beyond natural human capabilities. Researchers have created a bionic lens that could correct a person's vision for life. The bionic lens could improve 2020 vision threefold. What's more, the bionic lens needs less than 1% of the amount of energy of the natural eye. This means you can focus on something all day without any strain on your eyes. Years ago, Google developed Google Glass as a device to allow us to take photos or videos of our surroundings all with voice commands. Unfortunately, as cool as the technology was, the person wearing the device looks not so cool. Many people just couldn't get behind the aesthetic. Still, the idea was great, and it's been reimagined in the form of smart contact lenses. In fact, Sony is developing a smart lens that will allow you to take photos or videos with the blink of an eye. The sensors in the lens can tell the difference between voluntary and involuntary blinks, so that users can control the device without worrying about taking random snapshots. Smart contact lenses don't stop at helping us see or document our reality. They also have the potential to augment our reality. Samsung has patented a smart contact lens that has a built-in camera and sensors controlled by blinking. These are focused on offering an augmented reality view of the world. By incorporating cameras, motion sensors, and transmitters, the sensors will be able to overlay information on the physical world. They would work with a connected phone, allowing users to take photos and overlay information onto the real world, like a menu outside a restaurant, for example. Smart contact lenses could be used to replace body cams, so that police officers and security officers are safer. They can enhance military operations, and they can even give surgeons better vision and immediate feedback on vital signs, as well as give patients with long-term illnesses a way to monitor symptoms. With all these potential uses, the global smart lens market is expected to reach $7.2 billion in 2023. With all the innovations happening, there is no doubt that smart lenses will soon be commonplace. But are we ready for a world where they are? Will we be able to protect our privacy? Those are fantastic questions, but they'll have to be answered in another video.